Autonomous vehicle technology is just starting to come into the mainstream, which means that, for the most part, it's still only available for wealthy drivers who can afford a Tesla with autopilot or, say, a Cadillac with Super Cruise. And both of those cars started around 60 to 70 grand. So where's the digital chauffeur for Joe's six pack? Well, it's right here. George Hotz's Kama AI company has been developing a driver assist system which can retrofit existing vehicles with level 2 autonomy for a number of years now. However, we haven't been afforded a demo of the technology since around 2015, when the company ran into regulatory issues with the US government. But with OpenPilot 0.5, the company's open source autonomy software, which is scheduled for release later today, Kama AI gave Engadget a test drive to show off the system's new bells and whistles. Our first reaction? Wow, just wow. OpenPilot 0.5 offers a number of new features, the most exciting of which is its ability to perform facial tracking. That is, instead of having a hard six minute time limit for using OpenPilot, the system will now track the driver's face to ensure that they keep their eyes on the road. As long as you remain facing forward, the Kama AI system will work for as long as you're behind the wheel. The company is also releasing a crowdsourcing system tracking tool called Kama AI Explorer. With this, drivers will be able to review their most recent trips and help annotate any mistakes that the autonomous system has made. Those annotations, along with the telemetry data itself, are then uploaded to the Kama AI servers where the team uses it to further improve the system's stability. The Kama AI system still uses the same Panda OBD sensor, Giraffe Bridge, and Eon dash cam unit that we've seen before. It's compatible with virtually every new Toyota and Honda on the market, as well as select GM models. But unlike the factory installed driver assist systems that you get with GM, Toyota, or Tesla, the Kama AI system won't have you gasping and grasping for door handles every time another driver emerges into your lane. The driver assist is ridiculously smooth. We took it for a 20 minute trip down the I-280 South in light to medium traffic. Once engaged, the Kama AI drove flawlessly. All I had to do was turn on the Honda Civic's cruise control and set the desired speed. Then I could take my hands off the wheel and my foot off the gas. I only had to keep my eyes on the road, lest the Eon's front-facing camera catch me looking away and begin setting off visual and audio alarms to get my attention. The car steered itself, kept up with the flow of traffic, maintained a super safe 1.8 second gap behind the vehicle in front of it, and automatically adjusted its position among the surrounding cars as they changed lanes. Never once was I nervous about how the AI system was functioning. There were no abrupt changes in speed, lane changes, or other hiccups. The only time I had to take over control was when I exited the freeway. Honestly, this driver assist system drives better than I do, even in heavy stop and go traffic. Kama AI offers the necessary hardware through its web store, which can be installed in compatible vehicles in under 10 minutes with minimal tools. The software that controls everything will need to be downloaded free from GitHub and separately installed, but since the Eon dash cam is basically an Android One Plus 3, that shouldn't be any trouble either. The entire system is still effectively in beta and is geared more towards early adopters and enthusiasts, so this isn't something you're going to want to surprise your tech-phobic parents with just yet. But don't worry, the company is reportedly hard at work developing a proper consumer offering, and it can't come soon enough.